This entire video is because Liver King is on thin ice. The Liver King is at a turning point where tomorrow he's going to be putting out a video. Primals want to know, did Liver King ever stop taking steroids? Am I back on steroids? Have I been on steroids the whole time? Well, here to tell you the answer. And I advise the Liver King to not put that video out. If you don't do the things that I mentioned before I brought up the fact that I thought you had bought a bunch of followers on your Instagram. Yo, how many videos have I done on the Liver King? Uh, three, four, five, I don't know. But they were all in defense of him. And today, this video will not be in defense of him. It's actually gonna be the opposite. I'm gonna be calling him out, I'm gonna be calling the Liver King a liar. And it's only because he hasn't put out this video that he's been talking about tomorrow. Because today, puts up this post called Steroid Update. Not in this Steroid Update post. It says, with all the gossip driven accusations, a king has the right to stand up, push back, attack, and even destroy if duty calls. The Liver King's here to set the record straight, answer questions, and more. Inbound tomorrow on YouTube. Special thanks to the big, moist, critical, and the great new set. Oh, critical, okay, the big, moist, critical. I know who that is, that's Penguin. I know who Penguins is. <laughs> But he's thanking these people, and who he should really be thanking is me. Huh? We don't believe in coincidences over here, right? And two days ago, I put up a video where I'm so fed up with the Liver King's natural journey, natural journey, that I am now stopping testosterone. It's been since September 9th of 2022. I have been taking 200 milligrams a week, and at this point, I am no longer doing that because I need people to see what it looks like when you stop taking anabolic steroids. Make me believe it! Performance and any drugs, you name it. Stop taking that stuff, this is what happens. The pushback to this on his end is going to be, well, you're sleeping in a bed, and you're not cold plunging, and you're not eating anywhere near as many organs and testicles that I am. And I'm like, this is why people freaking are stupid. Because while those things have a lot of benefit, and I've actually spoken why this stuff has a huge purpose in the freaking mainstream. This is why I defended you in all of those videos. I defended you because if you do those things more often than not, they're going to lead to better health for whomever is doing them. The main one being your kids. And you talked about your kids on the Sevon podcast way back in March, and no one had seen that. So because nobody had seen that, it was a big surprise when they thought that you had pivoted in that video where you're responding to the Liver King lie like, yes, I took steroids, and yes, I have used steroids and I lied to you, but I did it because I am doing it for the boys everywhere who are now struggling at record rates. Everyone hears that and they're like, oh my God, you're pivoting? I'm like, oh guys, no, 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 he's not pivoting. He's been doing it forever, but because you guys have 10 second attention spans, you're all so stupid Idiot. that you missed the original message. It's always been the message. And yes, he's a liar. And yes, he's a fraud. And yes, he took all these steroids, but he did it because if it weren't for all those things, you wouldn't know that it's good for you to eat stuff like liver. You wouldn't know that cold baths have benefit and removing yourself from the cell phone and being around people are all things that he's talking about. And that's all good stuff. And it still is and it will forever be good stuff. However, I am now fed up to the point where I am now going to be taking a mental dip, a physical dip, because I'm stopping my testosterone. I've been loving this stuff, but I need you to see what it looks like when you actually stop. Oh, what a great idea. Because he's 200 days in, and that is not what you're supposed to look like. However, for a while, I was on board. I'm like, all right, 30 days in, 60 days in, I believe you, this This is right. And everyone's thinking, no, no, right away he doubled down. It's like, no, uh uh, uh, I know more about performance enhancing drugs than you do. I know more than you. And I know this for various reasons, but just just believe me here, unless your name is Derek or Greg, I, I know more than you. And through the William Llewellyns and Dan Duchesne's and the John Romanos of the world, you'll hear things such as, it's a good idea for you to stop taking performance enhancing drugs before your athletic event. Why? Because if you have two identical human beings, and let's say they did a four month steroid cycle, 16 weeks, they're both right here, they're both 200 pounds, they're both jacked out of their freaking minds. You look at them, and this guy was, wait a minute, instead of four months, I'm gonna go three months on one month off, and I'm gonna not be 200 pounds, but 190, a little bit lighter than this 200 pound person over here. What's the benefit in an athletic event behind being 10 pounds lighter? Well. Let's just say you're doing a 200 meter or a 100 meter dash. You're gonna be faster because you're lighter. But Andrew, this guy's stronger. This guy in a month's time is not going to lose three months of progress. And that weight that he doesn't have to move is gonna be way more beneficial than maybe 1% of muscle mass that he lost. So he's going to win the race. Gymnasts are gonna win the race. Crossfitters are going to win the race. And let's remove the fact that you do need to come off of your steroids at some point in time in order to pass the drug tests. You will also, like a bodybuilder, remove water weight and it will reveal a better looking human being, which we saw in the Liver King through days 30, 40, 50, 60, but now at point 120, 180, 200 days in, and there's no way 
no way that he has retained all of that muscle mass for this long, which is why I'm doing it, and which is why I'm making this video, and which is why I hope tomorrow when he comes out with that video, he's super clear on everything, because if he isn't, and let's just say that he says that he is natural, he better have some great blood work to blow that thing up. And what I mean by that is you can't just show your freaking testosterone levels, seven, 800, 900 nanograms per deciliter. You can't just show me that because you also have to show your FSH and your TSH. If you don't show me those numbers down in the toilet, then it just says that you're using testosterone at maybe 140, 150 milligrams a week. It'll make you look that way for sure. And it will still accomplish the stuff that we just talked about because if you're using less testosterone, you'll have less of a load, you'll hold less water, you'll look leaner and everyone will see you and it's like, all right, great. Next up, you gotta show a panel where it's like Anivar, Primo, Mastron, Nandrolone, Tren, Anadrol, whatever, you name it, just you gotta show the whole thing. You gotta show the SARMs, you gotta show everything through every blood test that you've done. And if you can't show those things as well, well then, you can't be believed. Basically what I'm getting at there is it has to be a super detailed blood panel. And I can't dissect those the same way that a More Plates, More Dates can, but if you just show a couple of well-chosen numbers, you're off to a bad start. And then the big one the growth hormone, because we know he takes that, right? In the Liver King lie, he was looking for or taking an ungodly amount of growth hormone for someone just kind of living their lives, four, five, six, seven, eight, I use a growth hormone a day. And if you take that and you continue to take that, let's just say that you are natural. Let's say that you stopped everything else, but you stay the course on the growth hormone, which is actually what I suspect of all of this. The dude is still taking growth hormone at an absurd amount every single day. You're gonna maintain a lot of that stuff. You're gonna retain the muscle pumps and the size and the vascularity, but you are going to lose that extra water retention. And it affects everybody differently. Some people get really bloated when they have growth hormone. We know he's a genetic freak, and we also know that he has lied in the past. So who on the team over there thought that it was a good idea to give him a bunch of growth hormone and then remove the anabolic substances? I don't know, growth hormone kind of anabolic, nowhere near as anabolic as a testosterone or anything else that we already mentioned. And the thing about that test is you would have to give it basically every day and at minimum every other day. And then at that point, it'd be a grand every other day. And you would really think that for the past 300 days, he's been spending $1,000 every other day on this blood test? I don't freaking think so. Is he going to address growth hormone in this video he puts up tomorrow? I don't think so. And if he doesn't address growth hormone, which we know that he was taking, and he just talks about anabolic substances, and then he doesn't show a panel, or maybe he just shows the freaking nanograms per deciliter, or whatever levels they might be at various points in time, the dude is screwed. There's absolutely no way around it. And again, I'm gonna be showing myself. And again, the only reason I think that he's doing any of this is because of my video the other day, where unlike Greg Doucette, where he puts up a video at freaking month three, month four, month five, and he's just talking about how he thinks he's a liar at every single point, I put up one video and I say, hey dude, there's no way, and I'm gonna show you why. We don't believe in coincidences. The other thing that we don't believe in is random gained Instagram followers. So because I paid more attention to the Liver King than anyone else, I remember him when he had 10,000 TikTok followers. And the reason that I bring that up is because I pay very close attention to him and Danny Spiegel. And I thought that they were very cool points to compare to because Danny Spiegel's in the CrossFit space, 1.7 million Instagram followers. Liver King, in the real world, big dude, 1.7 million Instagram followers. So I'd compare their analytics to one another. And then one day I looked and the Liver King was at 2 million. And I'm like, damn, what'd he do? Like, he didn't put on freaking hundreds of thousands of followers during the Liver King Lie where if you walked into a hospital or a bar or anywhere on the face of planet Earth, everyone knew who the Liver King was. And he didn't put on 200,000 followers at that point. So what gives? What's happening? And he bought him. At least that's what I think. The same way that I think he's currently a liar, I think that he just recently bought 200,000 followers. And I'm not just going to say that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this social blade. So I have this whole thing up right here. And if we go to the point in time that I talked about, November 28th of 2022, you can see that he started to lose some followers. And I can't see the pluses and the minuses. You just see the overall gain or loss. And right here, you're going to see that he lost thousands of followers for the first time in a long time. Like, why is that though? Well, probably a bunch of people were pissed off because they believed in you and you lied to them and they were out. And then over the course of November, there's a whole lot of red and then there's more red and then there's more red and there's more red. And then the first time you see a big chunk of green is in February. Like, right, I wonder what happened in February. What did, what did you do? Did you, did you pick up some followers right there? What happened? Like, why? Was there something on the Liver King page that made people want to start following you again? Or did you throw some money at some agency to pick up some followers? Because you went up 50,000 right there and we 
know that you were on a losing streak for a long time. But that winning streak went on for quite a while. The winning streak went on until about the beginning of May. And then you see another losing streak. And the losing streak actually brought you down from 1.9 to 1.8 again. You're looking at it. It's like, all right, you probably didn't like that very much. Which brings me to the most recent winning streak where you put on 10, 11, 20,000 freaking Instagram followers at a random point in time. This August 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th section. And then you randomly go from the 21st plus 4,000 into a tailspin again. Like, why did you lose 155 and 833 again? What, what happened there? If I had to bet, it's got nothing to do with the content being put out. I bet it's the money put into the agencies that will then pay for followers for you. And we do know that there are a lot of people in the Liver King ecosystem. They comment a lot, they follow a lot, they comment on other people's stuff. There's a lot of engagement. So I'd say that most of the followers in there are real. But I think that there is a badge of honor on that 2 million number right there. And I think that that 2 million number is fabricated. Probably about 1.5. Anywhere from a million to 1.5 of them are legitimate. And you know that because you can look at the Instagram real plays. And some of you might be thinking, all of this stuff is fake Andrew too. Like, the, the, this is, why would Social Blade know these numbers? Well, I compared them to my own and it racks up pretty freaking close. CrossFit Games come around, Andrew picks up followers. Andrew makes an ad here on Tia Toomey, picks up a bunch of followers. You would think, you think that there would be some sort of correlation between this spike weekly followers gain for Liver King and he picks up more followers in the week of July 31st through August 7th, 100,000 right there, than he picked up in the entire time frame between February 6th and April 17th, and you wonder why. And you also see a dip in December where he lost 10,000, and that's because of the Liver King lie. He lost a bunch of followers. And you know that this thing's accurate, and you think it's weird that he picked up all these followers the, to the tune of 100,000 recently. The ones that I saw that put him over to that 2 million mark, and he put on when he first opened up his Instagram account. This entire video is because Liver King is on thin ice. The Liver King is at a turning point where tomorrow he's gonna be putting out a video. Primals wanna know. Did Liver King ever stop taking steroids? Am I back on steroids? Have I been on steroids the whole time? Well, here to tell you the answer. And I advise the Liver King to not put that video out. If you don't do the things that I mentioned before I brought up the fact that I thought you had bought a bunch of followers on your Instagram. Call me your PR guy over here in the CrossFit space. I suppose that I, just like everybody else, do not like being lied to. That's all I have to say about that. Andrew Hiller. Out. Just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it! Some people dream of success while you're gonna wake up and work hard at it! Nothing is impossible! No! What are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can!